Hello YouTube and welcome to the 12th Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be covering do while loops. Uh, now I probably should have done this in tutorial uh, 11 and done the exception handling in tutorial 12. But um, oh well. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see I have my basic program. Uh, everything we need to start off. I already have all that in there. So um, Let's go ahead and get started with the do while loop. So basically what a do while loop does is, uh, if you remember from the while loop uh, tutorial, what a while loop does is it takes the, the block of code, let's just say there's the arguments, whatever's inside this uh, block right here, it's going to run that while a statement is true. So let's say while x is less than uh, 10 and uh, let's say x is already equal to 8 and uh, each time we run through it we're going to just add 1 so so what this will do is it would run through this this block of code um, twice because it'll start off at 8 it'll run through it then it'll go up to 9 and it'll run through it again and then it'll um, change it to 10 and it'll stop because it's not going to do it if it's equal to 10 only if it's less than 10 so um, that's a short little little review of what while loops do so basically what a do while loop does is it'll do using the keyword do it'll do a block of, of code um, no matter what you don't use any conditions it's just gonna, it's just going to go ahead and do that and then at the end it'll have a while statement and so while um, this condition is true uh, go back through and keep doing that again so um, if it's a little confusing to you just keep watching and I'll uh, make a, a a do while loop for you so let's just go ahead and make a, a variable don't forget the semicolon now we're going to start the do while loop so here's do and there are there are no parameters for this. So so what are, what do we want to do? So we'll just see out. Um, let's see, we'll just see out x, and then we'll just add one to x. And if you don't know what x plus equals one is, I think I covered it in the math tutorial. Basically, what it is is it's the equivalent of x equals x plus one. It's just a shorter version of that. And so now the program, what the program's going to do is it's going to um, go ahead and run that. And it's not going to, it's not going to test to see if anything's true before it runs it. It's just going to do it. And now down here we're going to have our while keyword and then the arguments in here. So we'll, we'll just do this loop while x is less than or equal to 10. So this is going to print it out 10 times. So if we start running this, okay, hold on, we got an error. Oh wait, never mind. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why it closed out like that. Let's try this again. It looks like my get isn't working, so I'll just go ahead and do this. This is the equivalent of using get, except it's just a little different. Okay, so you can see it printed 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Um, sorry if I sound a little bit tired in this. It's like really late, and I wanted to go ahead and get this out because you guys like these tutorials so much. But, um, so it printed out all the way to 10, and then whenever you use system pause, um, it'll say press any key to continue, and when you press any key, it's just going to close out. And um, while we're in this tutorial right here, this is something that's really useful. Um, if you are familiar with um, CMD commands and using the command prompt, you can use this line of code in C++, system, and then 
inside your parentheses you're just going to have a string and you're going to do your commands like let's say you want to ping something that's what it, it's going to do whatever you put inside those quotes as a CMD command so um, that's just a little uh, extra thing in this tutorial uh, somebody commented commented it on one of my earlier videos I don't know his username um, off the top of my head but if he's watching this go ahead and leave a comment um, let me know who you are but uh, I already knew that in advance but I think it was kinda cool that he pointed that out so um, go ahead look at this code um, do while loops are really easy it's just a small variation of a while loop um, go ahead and try it out go ahead and make your program get used to it make sure it's stuck in your head so you won't forget it and then move on to the next tutorial so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.